Good afternoon everyone, it's Chris here at Blue Rhino Safaris. I thought I would quickly do this uh, video for you to just show you what's left for the rest of the year, what is available if you are interested in doing a trip. There's a few spots available for uh, tours towards the end of the year. The second thing is on the 1st of July the Poppy Act becomes a real thing. So if you don't want to receive any emails, make sure to let me know that um, I only have the people that want to receive the mails on um, on my mailing list. Um, so uh, if you do nothing, you will keep receiving these videos and emails from me. But if you ask me to remove you or you go to the bottom of your last email, then uh, you'll see an unsubscribe button. You can just unsubscribe there. Um, so yeah, let's quickly have a look at the trips that is still available. It is sort of on the website, but um, not completely. Uh, some of the trips that came over from 2019 uh, or 2020 into 21, I didn't advertise on the website because they were basically just moved across. But um, just so that you know what is available, let's quickly go through them. East Africa Serengeti, we just completed. Great trip. Um, the one for 2022 is almost full as well. So that's looking good. My Botswana trips moved to September. Um, they were scheduled for July. So if you couldn't make July and you wanted to do it, um, they've been rescheduled for September. I've got two trips going out, identical trips. I'm only doing one COVID test and I'm doing both of the trips, one after the other. The one is on the 13th of September and the other one is on the 21st of September. So um, eight night trips uh, and we basically start at, uh, at Kama Rhino Sanctuary at the bottom. And the idea is to travel north uh, through the Chobi and all of that. So we start at the bottom at Komarano Sanctuary. Then we do Kubo Island. We cross over the pans up to Gweta. Then um, into Mount for a night. And then we go onto the Okavango Delta for three nights. Where we go into the Miremi one day. We do the... Um, we do the concession area another day and then after that we head up north towards um, Savuti where we have lunch and then we exit when we go through to Kasani and we spend a day in the Chobi river section as well. So a very nice trip. It's I call it the Botswana Blitz. It's been called uh, Trans Botswana. Um, a very nice balanced tour. Both of the trips have bookings on them uh, but there is a bit of space left if you were interested in, in joining. So um, those are the two September tours going out. And then I have a, um, it's not my Kahalahari trip as such, um, but I've had a trip that moved over from last year and it is a seven night Kahalahari trip where we do Tuerafiren as the first night, then Nosop as the second night. Then we do the uh, Polenswa Eco Trail for two nights, Sesatswe Langrambuka, back to Nosop for the fifth night, Matamata for the sixth night, Tuerafirin for the seventh and out. And that uh, departs on the 30th of July this year. It's not on the website because the trip um, was full, but I split the group and um, therefore there's a spot left on it if anybody's interested. Kahalahari, 30th of July, so it's in a month's time. Kahalahari for seven nights doing the Palenswa Eco Trail as well as Nosop two nights, Mata Mata and Tuerafirin going in and going out. Very nice tour. If you're interested, send me an email and I will uh, I will get the quote through to you to have a look at that. So that's Kahalahari, the end of the month. Then I have September Botswana Blitz, the second Botswana Blitz that uh, we spoke about just now. And then in November, I have um, Kahalahari double the fun. There's only one spot left in the 15 November trip. So one vehicle for 15 November, the other um, 6 November is full. Um, 15 November already has three vehicles on it, so I can only take one more. Um, if you're interested, let me know. Then I also have a, a Orange River top to bottom tour. And this one is normally where the guys do a bit of fishing. So if you're into a little bit of fishing, then you're welcome to join. 13th of October, nine nights. Um, and this is where we start in Zastron. And uh, we see where the Orange River arrives basically in um, in South Africa from the Lesotho side. So it is Astron down to uh, the Van der Kloof Dam area up to uh, Mukala Game Reserve, uh, the Sandbox, the new Sandbox spot. Uh, very nice to, to sleep a night there. 
then down to the Bucheberg Dam area, Uppington, Orange River, through to Kakumas, and we end up in the Richtersfeld. So it's a semi Richtersfeld trip, but we do the Orange River from top to bottom. It's been very successful up to now, and I have space for about two or three vehicles on that one if you're interested. It is on the website, so you can get more detail from it there. Um, Kachalekhari double the fun in November, as I mentioned. There's a spot for only one more. And then the Primates and Great Lakes Tour in December is still going out. I've changed the departure date to the 14th, I think, of December, middle December. So if the 5th of December did not suit you, that date has been changed to the middle of December up to the middle of January. Come December, I believe we will be uh, traveling again. Most of us would have had inoculations at that point. And um, yeah, I've just been to Tanzania and I understand the, the border issues. So um, we can definitely get up to Uganda this December. So those are the tours um, available for the rest of the year. Primates Great Lakes, Kahalakadi November, only one spot. Uh, Orange River top to bottom. This is where we're going to Urania um, and we do the whole Orange River thing. Ukhrab um, Falls, the whole lot. Very nice trip, um, totally in South Africa, so you don't need a passport for that. Um, then the Botswana, the two Botswana tours that uh, is still available. And finally the Kahalakari tour that's not on the website going out 30th of July, where we do the Polenswa Eco Trail. Only one spot available on that one. So if you're interested, let me know and I will send you uh, a quotation and more information. Um, and we'll fill up the, the tours quite quickly. And then I will start releasing the 2022 tours um, somewhere in the next week or two. Um, you'll see on the um, on the website it's already populated with again Orange River. This is in the flood season next year. We will go down um, like we did um, in 2021. Then Kokoland. I'm doing Kokoland next year. Um, I've got a Primate and Serengeti, which will happen in May June. Then we'll do a Richtersfeld in August, and then we'll do a flower tour immediately after that. So those tours are also on the website already. Uh, if you want to, to, look, to book for next year, um, I'm still um, populating the, the year next year, but uh, those ones are there already. I will send more information on them uh, in the next week or two. Otherwise, stay safe. Uh, let me know if you want to do something rather urgently. As I say, not many spots left, so you need to get your booking as, as soon as possible. Uh, stay safe and um, I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.